Hey guys, Kerwin Celestine here from K Celestine Photography and I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how I sharpen my images. So let's jump straight into it. Here's an image that I did with a model a couple months back and I'm going to show you how I do my sharpening on this. So, okay guys, so after you're finished retouching and everything is done, as you can see here, I have finished retouched this one from before and after. Okay, so after you're finished retouching everything, you're going to want to create a new layer above this, or you can merge everything, for example. So for this example, I will merge everything. So let's merge these two together by clicking and pressing Command E, or I think it's, yeah, Command E or Control E on our Windows. So once that syncs, we'll continue once that merges. Okay, so now that you have everything as a flat image, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this layer twice. So you're going to press Command J or Control J on a Windows twice. So you'll get two copies. Okay, if you want, you can label them. I'm not going to label them because it's just to show you guys how to sharpen. So what you're going to do, you're going to press hold down shift and select the two layers and you are going to press command G or control G on a windows to group them now that you group them you're going to select from your drop down list you're going to put this on soft light okay yes I know it got dark don't worry guys we're gonna change that just now you're going to open your group you're going to select the first one layer one copy you're going to go again to the blending mode and you are going to select vivid light on this one okay and from here you're going to press command i or control i on the windows which is going to invert this and then you will be back to normal all right guys see we are back to the original image that we started from I can show you here by removing this you see there's no change no difference okay what we're going to do now is we are going to first things first because we are going to use uh, a surface blur to sharpen this image so with the surface blur it's going to take some time okay I don't want the death spinning ball beach ball on the Mac so for, to avoid this, a quick way to do it, you go to image, you're going to go to mode, and you're going to change your image to an 8-bit. Okay, you're going to click 8-bit. So it's going to switch over from the 16-bit channel to the 8-bit channel. This will make the process a lot faster. This is why I do it. Okay, so now that it's an 8-bit, what you're going to do is going to filter, blur, surface blur. So once you're on your surface blur, why I use this technique, as you guys can see already, it's already done sharpened. As you can see. Now why I use this technique instead of using the sharpen tool or the high high pass filter mask is because this technique actually brings back the details. So to sharpen the image, you use the threshold. The threshold, if you bring this up, you will see that the image gets much, 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 much sharper. Okay, that's what the threshold does. And what the radius does is you bring up the radius and it brings back in detail. See? It brings back in the detail to the image, the texture on her skin. Let's go before and after. As you can see right around here, you can see how much detail it brought back. So you have to play with it, guys, to the settings that you like. But for me, I would stay around 5% radius. And I would bring my threshold to around 40, just to show you guys the sharpening. So let's say 40. Okay. And you guys can see right here the difference. So she got back some texture in the arms and in the face and you can see the sharpening 
You can see it in the hair, and the eyes, and the lips, and the nose. So I'm going to click OK. See, and that went too fast. Now, if it was on 16-bit, this would have taken some time, guys, to render the to render the surface blur. All right, guys. So that's it. Basically, that's how you, I do my sharpening when ready to upload to Facebook or Instagram. This is how I sharpen the image after I've completely finished editing. If it's too much, you can always bring down your opacity. Let's say it's around 50% for me for this image, and this is great. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. And if you did, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next one, take care, guys.